Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bullet Train Dash here. We're going to start a whole new Let's Play today. We just finished up Doom, and given the dark and gritty nature of that game, I decided let's go with something more upbeat and happy, like Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> I joke. So as is pretty well known at this point, this is apparently a dark game. I've had it since it came out. Uh, it came up on my uh, suggested list, and I was like, yeah, that looks interesting. Click, and then I never got into it. And I had no idea what it was. I was just like, oh, Doki Doki, like Doki Doki Panic. Why not? We'll give it a shot. And lately, it's become huge online about how dark it gets and such. And I've not watched anything about it. So I know it's dark. I know it gets pretty messed up. But I don't know, uh, like, how it gets dark or anything. I may have to do a lot of editing. I don't know how graphic novel this gets. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but I've had this here, and I was installing Fallout 4, because we said that was going to be our next playthrough, and I may do that parallel to this. Uh, but I said, you know what? I want to play something that looks like it can be fun and quick. See what happens. So here we are. Now, I've got everything tuned in. Again, I had to recalibrate everything for the new game, because the audio systems are a pain. I need to find a better way to do that. Uh, so I'm actually going to cut for just a moment. We're gonna, I'm going to double check my audio settings. Uh, once I validate that that all sounds good, which I've already done, but I'm seeing a couple of weird readings. I want to make sure they're fine before we do a whole episode. Uh, then we're going to jump right in, start a new game, and see what in the world this game actually is about. So hold tight, and we will do that. And we are back. So yep, everything sounds good. So we're going to hop in here. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. My games usually are hour-long episodes. But some, show, some games I've done have been like 10 minute episodes. So we're just going to play and I'm going to cut when I feel like I've hit good stopping points. So let's do a new game. Please enter my name while I'm Dash. Okay. There we go. Hey! I'm not going to be able to do very many voices because I'm not good at a girl's voice. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Oh, I should be more happy about that then. You know, the kind of friend you'll never see yourself making today, but it the, bleh, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. So basically, I grew up with her and she became annoying. Gotcha. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. So she became a magical girl. <laughs> They always oversleep, don't they? But if she's going to chase a, uh, chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. No, you hold your hold your ground. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. No, oh, she's adorable. Uh, uh, I don't know what she's saying there. I think she oh she's pretty. Ha ha! I overslept again. If I caught you this time, maybe it's only because I decided to stop and wait for you. I'm, I'm kind of a dick. Hey, why do you say things like that about ignoring Wait, you say that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Dash. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. But you did wait for me. I guess you don't have... I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. What? I thought I was being a dick. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Dash, have you decided on a club to join yet? I'm betting I joined the literature club. A club? I told you already, not really interested in joining any clubs today. Or in, in general, not even today. Fuck clubs all around. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? No, I doubt that. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. God, I'm an asshole. <laughs> Sarah likes to worry a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on, on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. That one hits a little too close to home. <laughs> uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. I had skills in college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a, 
a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. I don't know what a neat is. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why well, do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? She is awfully carefree. Oh, her bow is adorable. I thought her bow had a color print error, but it's actually this piece underneath it. Oh, neat. I like this whole art style, actually. It looks really good. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is ordinary as ever. It's over before we know. So is this like... I'm assuming this takes place in like a Japanese style school. So I think it's an American company that made this game. I could be wrong though. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sarah wants to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Well, yeah, anime or gaming club. That's what I'd rock. Hello. Sayori. Sayori's coming to the classroom while I was facing out. Ah, shit. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. Oh, that's not cool. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I was like just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. No. That's probably fair. <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me. Wait, you don't need to make, wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know, oh, she was going to quote, air quote, encourage me. You know what? Well, you can come to my club. Oh, Sayori. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah, oh, meanie. Is <laughs> he cute? Her is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since so she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm kind of in that same boat. Even though I'm a huge gamer, I love nerd culture and all that. I have a hard time just getting into a lot of books. I like comics, but... Like, I tried reading, uh... The uh, Game of Thrones series, Sword of Ice and Fire and all that. I couldn't get the first book. That thing was just so... Drill. Oh. I do like the uh, Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind. If you want a good fantasy novel, a lot of people give him shit, but I actually liked it. So, But I also don't read a lot, so maybe I'm the worst person to listen to advice on that. Anyhow, that said, my interest is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'm going to bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Oh my god. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sarah is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I'm betting this bitch is cunning as shit. I'll let out a long side. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Really, that's all he wanted was cupcake. Oh. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I want that on a shirt. Because they've got all kinds. This is becoming such a pop culture thing at this point. I want, I want to show it. It says, and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> Any of y'all make that as a design that I can print on a shirt? Oh, I will do that in a heartbeat. I dejectively follow Sarah across the school and upstairs. A section of school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Okay, it definitely takes place in Japan, just with that wording. Sarah, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Slam! Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. <clears throat> I glanced around the room. Girl one, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. I like her hair. I like that color is cool. I like her eyes too, but it matches her hair. Sarah always says nice things about you. What? Girl two, seriously? You brought a boy to the girl's only club? Can gr Are only girls allowed to read in this universe? Way to kill the atmosphere. 
Oh shit. Oh, Dash, what a surprise. Girl 3, I apparently know. Welcome to the club. Dash, me, what? Hmm? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Uh, um, sorry. Natsuki. Oh, there we go. We got a name. Hmm. The girl with sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Is, is one I don't recognize. Her smaller figure makes me think she's probably a first year. <laughs> first years. She's also the one who made cupcakes. Oh. All right. I like her. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Done. Sarah says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. <laughs> Makes sense. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, smartest member of the club. Don't say things like that. Oh, she's a super shy type. All right. Yuri, who com appears comparable with... Who appears comparably more mature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. I like how Sinner going, is this in Japan? And all these names are Japanese. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. <clears throat> and it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Dash. How do I know Monica? Mon oh, hello. Monica smiles sweetly. She's all like, hey, check out this like inappropriate pose we do know each other well we rarely talk but we were in the same class last year monica was probably the most popular girl in my class smart beautiful athletic basically completely out of my league man i need to have more self-esteem so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little you too monica yeah 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 come sit down dash we made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or monica i'll get the cupcakes Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little excited. And how about I make some tea as well? Hey, Yuri. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. I love this music. It's so upbeat. I'm waiting for this thing to just get dark. Like, I don't know how this supposedly happens. Well, it'll just be like a massive play. And everyone's like, yeah, it gets real dark. And it never does. As I already mentioned, it's been widened. So that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuri and Yur Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens a closet. Still feeling awkward, I'll take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? I'm always ready. Right? Ta-da! Ooh, ah. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cute little cats. It doesn't say cute there, but fuck you, they're cute. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate are used to make ears. I want to see a picture of that. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Oh, my throat's getting dry. Well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sorry, grabs the first one, then Monica. And I follow, of course. It's delicious. I bet she says that with her mouth full. It's delicious. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Nailed it. Sari talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to attack. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. It's really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I've I've heard of this somewhere before. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? She's all cindery style. I think I made them for you or anything. I thought you technically did. Sari said, well, uh, maybe. But not for, you know, you, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation, as you damn well should. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before putting the teapot, I almost said teacup, next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? No. <laughs> I guess. Sure, why not? Oh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Eh, it's not. 
<laughs> Soft and Yuri looks away. I'm a pimp, apparently. I mean, that, you know, I believe you. That's me. I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I actually hate tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow. Hmm? Oh, you don't have a camera on me. <laughs> then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? I was blackmailed. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet. Sayori seems happy here, so... Well, that's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home. That sounds terrible. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm just gonna break comic books every day. They're strategy guides. <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of debate last year? Well, you know... She got kicked out. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. You know, I respect that. Politics are annoying. Though I could run for president, apparently. I mean, look at what we've got in this country. Well, okay, this is USA. I could, I could totally take on Trump in a, in a political run. Maybe this game's got an idea. <laughs> Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'm not going to take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. I actually respect that. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. <sighs> Yuri just nods in agreement. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be so hard to start a new club. Hey, you could put it that way. Hey, you gotta drag me here. <clears throat> Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're, that, they're, that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Huzzah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted about the idea of a new member joining. That makes sense. If they've been trying to get something to happen and it just hasn't. I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Dash, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, um, <laughs> sir, how little? See, this is this is me. Oh my god, manga? Yeah, that's accurate. I was actually reading manga earlier. Just uh, Ronnie Kenshin. I hadn't read that in a while, so I pulled it down. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. <laughs> Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps it quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh, she's got me wrapped around her. What about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the room of Kinko with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Hey, those are what I enjoy when I read fantasy. Or, or, or fic, well, obviously. When I read fiction. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yeah. She goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like lots of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Me too. And surprisingly, what, even though I said I hate politics, I love political stories. But I like how people can, like, manipulate. I think that's always cool. Like, House of Cards is a TV show, but I'll, if that was a novel, I'd read the shit out of it. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination uh, to completely throw you for a loop? Woo! Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, I, I read a horror book once. <laughs> I desperately grasp for something I can relate to at the minimal level. 
At this rate, she might as well be talking to a rock. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Mario, really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some reason, as gent for someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. She's a serial killer. Surreal horror is often very successful uh, at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just, she gets scared. She darts over at me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to, like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? She strikes me as the kind of writer. Oh, sure, she made kitty cat uh, cupcakes, so. What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. She should totally deadpan that. Like, we, we know. Why, why are you even... Why am I making it up? It looks like you're working on a poem called... Don't you dare say it out loud. Hey, give me that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh, she is probably the worst of all of them. Uh-oh. Sarah saddles up behind Natsuki, puts her hand on her shoulder. I'm not cute! That's so cute. You write your own poems? Oh, uh, I guess, sometimes. Why do you care? I think it's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't want to hear your poems. I hate poetry. It's like, get to the... I'm, I'm too... And I, I, me, this is me dash talking. I'm too much about get to the damn point. Oh, poetry. Oh, cool. You can take an hour to say something that should take two minutes. Sweet. That's a waste of time, in my opinion. If you like, by the way, if y'all like poetry, that's awesome. I am all about poetry in the sense of a form of expression. I just, I, I'm sorry. I, it gets on my nerves. <laughs> no, no. She averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh, not a very confident writer yet? Question mark. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. That's an awful lot. Do you have an experience writing? Your, I've written technical documents. Maybe you share some of your work. You can set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Ho <laughs> ho Nope. I guess that's the same for you, Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Say horror, of course. We sit in silence for a moment. There's crickets. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Huh. They look quizzically at Monica. Let's go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Strengthen. Why can't I say that word? Strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Dash? Um. Uh-oh. Hold on. There's still one problem. What's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I was joining this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare at me with dejected eyes. Fine, I'll join. But, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, you ate my cupcake. Dash. You all, I'm defenseless against these girls. You know, yeah, how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision? That's true. If, it been, if this had been me in high school and I got suckered into this, I'd probably be like, fine. Because I wouldn't have cared about whatever club I was in. When I did have a high school club, it was, what was it? We had the no club club, which is people that just didn't want to deal with the shit. And that was when I was in. And we played magic a lot. We kind of became a magic club. That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided. I'll join. Yay! Except none of them look happy, even though their eyes are lighting up. Yay, I'm so happy. Oh, they're going to do it one time. She wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. Uh-oh. 
if you really just came for the cupcake, I would have been super pissed. Well, it is kind of why I came. So let's make it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Yay, Monica. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Is the next meeting tomorrow? Do we meet like every day? She looks me over once more. Dad, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh oh. Do I actually have to like, I'm sure there's gonna be like a mini game to build this uh, the uh, thing. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing, writing skills? Yeah, anxiety. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey dad, since we're already here, do you wanna walk home together? That's right, we never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Yeah, sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the classroom and mark our way home. Hallway, my mom wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Huh. <laughs> I gotta get the heavy visual novel dating sim set up so that they can go to shit later. All right. I seem to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. <laughs> and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Pick something good. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, shit. All right. Um, oh, that's adorable. Okay. I'm not even sure who my favorite club member is yet. I think Yuri. Because I had the most in common with her. And she likes fantasy and horror. Um, none of these really... I mean, like, agonizing, but I don't want to start with agonizing. That's not cool. Um, uh, I don't want pleasure. Explode is awesome. That's more action-y. Vanilla, that sounds dull. Milk, no. Awesome. I'm pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> Hop. Oh my god, this feels like it's so important. We're gonna do a save. Boom. Alright. 25 minutes. We got time to at least finish this. We'll probably do this poem and call that an episode. So. Analysis, aura, pleasure, kiss, awesome. Oh my god. I I want to, I don't understand. Okay, well, we're going to go with explode. She, she appeared to like that. Sadness, play, wrath, marshmallow, waterfall, greet, inferno, cry, fa inferno. That sounds cool. Oh, damn, she really likes me. Friends, forgive, universal, intellectual, sparkle, secretive, disarray, hair, daydream, charm, universe. So we just had an awesome explosion to spawn a universe. I'm describing the Big Bang. Uh, a kawaii. A tone, meager, twirl, flying, embrace, after, and we're flying. Oh, she likes flying. Nightgown, sticky, unrestrained, ambient, uncanny, bubbles, pop of memories, treasure, unrestrained. Headphones, suicide. Okay. Horror. Doki doki. Jumpy, question, rose, party, happiness, clumsy. I kind of want to go with do Dopey Dopey. Dopey Dopey. With Doki Doki, even though horror is clearly... What we're going to do it. Oh, she likes Doki Doki. I guess it's because it's the cute sound of a heartbeat. Holy, ooh, philosophy. Yeah, philosophy. Straight up. Now I'm just picking the ones I like. Eternity, peaceful, misery, love, melancholy, nature, fickle, anger. She liked anger? That was surprising. Pure starscape, infinite, skipping, vibrant, fester, landscape, existence, starscape. Music, death, ooh, it'll be music. Yeah, music. Chocolate, sensation, oh my god, I'm only halfway done. Hurt, peace, candy, sensation, infallible, dazzle, beauty, prayer, holiday, or chocolate. Sensation. Bunny, dark, whistle, unrequired, I didn't actually see who liked that one, shit. Bunny, dark, whistle, unrequited, and go massacre, broken bliss, loud tears. Too dark. 
Destiny, Pain, Adventure, Extreme, Vivacious, Time, Ocean, Heart, the Graveyard. Yeah, it was a graveyard. That one I knew would be her like in it, so that's the whole reason I picked it. Because none of those really stuff. Ooh, games. Um, Cute, Electricity, Contamination, Flower, fl Fantasy. Oh, I thought she'd like that. Together, Incapable, Rainbow, Anxiety, Giggle Peak, Incudated, um, um, Giggle, Pink, Dater, Incongruent, Incapable. I don't know. Ooh, Lust. Maybe that tells me a bit more. I jumped on that one, didn't I? Oops. Yeah, Lust. Oh, she liked that. Uh, Clouds, Cheers, Lipstick, Disaster. Special Essence, Cheeks, Hope, Extraordinary, Excitement. Essence. Precious, Playground, Sweet, Disoriented, Silly, Vitality, Ooh, Crimson, yes. Lollipop, Comfort, Tragedy, Desire, Misfortune, Defeat, Unending. I like that one. Hi again, Dash. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. No, don't worry. I keep my word. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. There you go. Well, I'm back at the literature club. We're going to see how this turns out, and then we're going to call it. I was last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Dash. You're welcome. Hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making your dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sarah told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. She's right, and last year too. I don't know if you plan on just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you sort of have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! I agree. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Dash always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. By cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sarah, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> huh. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh, snap. How come you and Dash can become good friends, too? Um, Sayori. Huh? She has no idea what she just did. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori? It, me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? <laughs> Never mind. God damn it, just give it to me. She made it sound like a big deal when it's truly really not. Yeah, that sounds like something Sayori would do. What what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Clearly. Gives it up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, hey, hey. Don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Unless she kicks me in the nuts or something. That would be unpleasant. Yeah, I'll make a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well... Here. Reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we, you could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Oh, she's got a crush on me. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. And see, I would. I'm such a fucking sucker. I read Twilight, for Christ's sakes, because a girl told me to. I'm terrible when it comes to saying no to a cute girl. Simple as that. Beautiful girls with, hey, you should read this book. I'm going to fucking read the book. I'm, I'm a sad person. <laughs> Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sarah and Monica have a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuki's face, or Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet, grabbing manga. 
I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from her reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah! Crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks a... <laughs> I love this piano. She sneaks another glance at me. Our eyes meet for a split second. <gasps> but that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... Oh, she's read this before. That's the book you gave to me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. <laughs> Only that I want to discuss it with you. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh... Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Sure. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that, that she is telling me, but I decided to let it go. I was going to say, do I not get what's going on? Okay, good. I'm not an idiot. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Now I'm scared. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book it is titled The Portrait of Markov. Oh, shit. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. I feel like I know that name, Markov. That's probably just a common name, actually. Ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? But she did say she likes horror, so... She may sound like it's going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. She gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Dash? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Um, I hope you just want. I hope you just like it because you want to talk about it, not because you're into causing that shit. She's also so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems completely different. That those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, it's not because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. That is true. Then suddenly, when you thought you you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, hey. I don't apologize now. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I had this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. <laughs> and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. See, I'm a nice guy! Except for being the asshole earlier. Least I can do is listen. It is a literature club, after all. I see, that makes sense. That's, well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh, wait, that's me this time. I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you don't have to. What are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. <sighs> Let me get the book. Quickly retrieve the book that I put in my bag. Alright, is it fine if I sit here, right? Slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah! <laughs> Playa! Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just not something I'm very used to. That is, reading in company with others. I see. This is a club purely about that. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you. Alright. Open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as, it's, it's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. 
Oh, Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yes, that's laugh worthy. Here, this should work, right? I slide my book until it's up against Yuri's and I hold my book more between the two of them. Or I slide my desk up against Yuri and my book's up between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. She timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. All right, I have a problem with this picture. I totally pictured me being on the other side this entire time. And this just really threw me. And no reason. No reason. At all. I think it actually even said she was over my left shoulder. But I, I'm terrible. So that fucked me up. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually distracting me. Oh, shit. I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. She's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Um, uh, to turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Look at that grin. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. I wonder if this whole scene is just based on what I picked. Like, we're not reading our poems. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page feels almost like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side, and she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me a bit of you. Think so? Oh, she didn't like that. How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things she says and does, like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. They're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. It's kind of a dick thing to say. I see. She remained silent for a moment. But Dash, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. It's so embarrassing that you think that. Well, wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way. I didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I meant it's more kind of cute. Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? Why are you saying all of a sudden? Okay, everyone. I think it's about time we shared poems. There we go. Now we're to the poem part. But I have a feeling that whole part may have happened because of the poem I picked. I don't know. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri hell spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. Sorry, but I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Oh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I'll only read it with you? Um. I guess I don't have much of a preference either way. Hmm? In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. A little more fun to read if you have to fix up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Oh, there we go. Now we have a point where we'll start up from. I was about to say, we should pick a point. I stand up, I make a mental note where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, not everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Oh, we're not going to share in front of the group? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica both pull out their poems. There is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf paper torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. 
I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting. Yep, she talks to me as the type that can do that. Natsuki and Yuri both do the same. As do I. Who should I show my poem to first? I'm going to give Yuri a break since I just embarrassed the shit out of her. Let's go to Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I wanted her to know I'm putting in an effort. Yeah. Hi, Dash. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Shit, we're 45 minutes into this episode. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring anything up. <clears throat> I'm, doing mu I'm, I'm just better off. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share a poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Dash. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of very we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, I guess that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Dash. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's actually, it's really metaphorical. I don't even know what I wrote. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Oh, I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way it always, that <laughs> way, <laughs> I should make everyone think I'm shit so that when it matters and I put in a little effort, I look amazing. Oh, that's not very fair. <laughs> Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of Im imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who uses simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes readers who love to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of just a brief feel or letting them deeply analyze nuance. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. Never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet, though. I don't worry much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring, learning, trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up... I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best... That way, that's the best way to find the style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased toward their own kinds of styles, but it'll always help you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Now you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Anyway, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Still pretty confident someone who not, claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. That makes sense. Well, let's read it then. Oh god, I actually have to read. We're actually going to stop the episode here because we're 45 minutes in and this is going to keep going. So I want to thank you all for tuning in on this Doki Doki Literature Club uh, playthrough that we've started. Uh, you can actually start reading the thing here. I'm not going to look at it yet. Uh, next episode, we're going to start out on this and then see where we end up. Yeah, I don't know what this is going to go. I don't know how this is going to play out. Uh, I'm actually going to record a few episodes of this before I even start uploading it. So by the time you're seeing this, the next three or four episodes are probably already recorded. But be sure to share your thoughts below. If you've played this, what uh, what character did you like the most? What kind of poem did you go for? Uh, but also try not to spoil anything down below because this is, as always, a blind playthrough. And I know nothing about what's going to happen. Uh, I probably won't be doing a whole lot of comment checking until we get much further into the series. Like I said, I'm also recording several episodes in advance uh purely for that purpose to kind of avoid potential spoilers down below so feel free to talk about what you want but just mark spoilers as uh as you do uh and i don't know how long episodes are going to be these i was expecting like a 20 minute episode i didn't expect this to go 47 minutes so be sure to you know like comment subscribe down below share your thoughts on this uh and stay tuned we will be starting the the fallout 4 let's play as well uh at some point too, unless other games are suggested and sound awesome. So thanks for tuning in. Stay awesome. And until next time, take care.